Hi everyone. Today I would like to show you how EDDM works. EDDM stands for Every Door Direct Mail. It's a, a USPS program that sends your marketing material through postcards to every household in the neighborhood. Say you have a new listing and you want to do some promotions to the neighbors. Um, you have actually two ways. One is get a um, uh, owner's list from your title rep. Then you send your um, letters or postcards to uh, that particular owner's group. And the second one is if you don't want to spend that much effort and time to do that, you can go through uh, EDDM that send all uh, the neighbors your um, postcards for the new listing. Okay, let me show you how it works. Okay, first, just um, Google EDDM USPS and then make sure you go to USPS website. Okay, there are a lot of uh, um, marketing companies that do the EDDM for you. Okay, actually, you don't need that. Okay, just go directly to USPS website. Okay, collect uh, on USPS every door direct mail and then go to EDDM online tools. Online tool. Okay, then you could uh, just enter a post, uh, 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 a zip code. For example, you have a listing in um, Diamond Bar. Okay, enter the zip code, click on search. Okay, it will uh, show you the uh, 91765 zip code areas. Then you can click, move your mouse around and click on the routes. Okay, that you want to um, include it in your um, marketing. For example, uh, when you when you actually when you move the mouse, you can see the uh, uh, the information here. They are changing, so that you can see how many households are in the route. For example, you have this thing in in a uh, uh, country. Let's find the country first. Okay, Diamond Bar, the country. Here's a Grand Avenue, Diamond Bar Boulevard. So here are the country area. Okay, for example, uh, you want to send to uh, this route. Okay, and then after you click on this route, um, the right hand side already give you how many households and the cost. Okay, uh, you select this one also. Okay, that give you another route. Okay, and when you actually click on that, uh, when you see the top, they give you the residential uh, business. Okay, actually we could uh, skip the business. And also they give you the age group, they give you the household size, they give you the household income. Okay, so I think these are not the uh, country. Okay, so these two are the countries, but actually you want to promote to more of the neighborhood. Okay then how let me show you how to do that uh, how to select the routes okay show table okay then you can see um, actually their incomes for example you are listing a uh, country estate in diamond bar then you want to promote to uh, more wealthy people so probably you will check on this one uh, already you click on two which is this one okay and this one okay uh, in blue then for example you want to select this one too that's a uh, higher income okay and also let's try um, this one too and this one too for example this one too okay so totally you select six routes and we want to uh, target on residential only okay so right now it's 3359 total delivery address if you select on um, click on residential only it reduces the size okay normally we want to target on residential only okay so these are all the routes 
and the uh, household income you already know and there are also have a household size that you can choose from okay and uh, age group okay you could uh, uh, also select from there okay and when we hide the table you go back to the map you can see which routes uh, you already selected okay here are the countries okay and here are some higher income areas for example you want to uh, promote to this uh, households then the USPS already gave you a um, estimate cost that's uh, about six hundred six hundred dollars okay for about three thousand postcards so average I think is about 19 cents per postcard okay for example you already decided on this then you should just hit continue okay and log on uh, log into your uh, USPS account if you don't have it just uh, create one okay and then uh, the USPS website will uh, process your order and then you will have to select a date that you want to uh, drop off to the post office make sure you search on uh, which post office you you need to drop off on that zip code there's a main post office you don't want to drop to other post office so uh, check on the website see which um, main post office you will have to drive, uh, drop off your material for example I want to drop off on uh, Friday the 29th okay then you just uh, continue to pay online okay after you pay uh, click on uh, I have read all the uh, all, all the terms and conditions and just continue to pay online after you check out then uh, USPS will generate some paperwork for you okay and then you could just uh, collect all your um, postcards and then uh, drop off at the post office uh, there are two important things I want to uh, mention first uh, when you print the postcards uh, from your uh, designers make sure uh, you mention the uh, EDDM uh, postmark uh, which is the uh, uh, ECRWSS uh, mark okay you want to print uh, exactly uh, the way that the USPS will accept uh, check with your uh, designer uh, they uh, should, able, should be able to uh, generate that for you so the postmark and also some of the uh, uh, requirements for example the dimensions and everything uh, you can get the um, information from usps.com every door direct mail okay and the second one is that uh, uh, when you drop off the postcard to the post office they require you to uh, do a hundred piece per bundle so you need to uh, group that um, uh, 3,000 pieces of mail uh, by the route and also by 100 pieces per bundle okay then uh, just drop off to the post office they will deliver the next day or the next two days uh, to uh, every household in your selected routes okay and that's it for today we talk about the EDDM if you have uh, any questions drop me a comment Thank you. See you next time.